Bird. Joined as always by Chris and Allison, two of my favorite people on the internet. <laughs> Here we talk about things, uh, usually of little importance. Sometimes we even know about the things we talk about. Allison always knows the things we talk about, uh, but she doesn't tell us until the end of the show. That's the gimmick. That's why you're here. That's the hook. It's why we do what we do. <laughs> Glad you could join us on the internet, binaryjazz.us. Uh, we're still on Twitter festering hellhole that it is follow <laughs> us there um and you know probably a few other places we've done some other stuff if you need a genre for your band <laughs> we got you covered who doesn't need a genre for their band Jasmine. i mean how, how can you have a band without knowing what your genre is <laughs> is it is it mandatory that you create a new subgenre if you create a band it should be it should be yeah well, we're kind of acousto tuba, <laughs> aggressive hardcore. <laughs> aggressive hardcore. <sighs> Y'all, it is a morning. Yeah. I feel like uh, I feel like I've done like most of my day, and it's it's ten thirty seven where I'm located. That's a good sign, though, because then it's all decompression from here on out. Once you've packed it in before 10.30. Yeah. Things are looking up. Nice cold glass of coffee. Intentionally cold? Uh, I had a hot mug of coffee earlier, but when I got home, it was cold. So <laughs> now I've got more coffee in there and some ice cubes, so it's intentionally cold. Good. It's refreshing. It really is. <laughs> I know most people don't like ice black coffee. I love it. I think it's way better than like tea with or without sugar. Oh, your face when you said tea was so sad. It's just like, oh. Tea. I mean, I say tea, like hot tea is good. Yeah. But like when I say tea, I mean like. Like iced, iced tea. tea. Yeah. yeah like, like what you get at every restaurant when you don't want soda. <laughs> high fructose maybe, corn syrup. Maybe right? that's what you get at every restaurant when you don't want soda. I live in the South. So the options are high fructose corn syrup with flavor, sweet tea, water. Sweet tea. Yeah, Drink I, a lot of water. I get water. Yeah. I have to go close to the pantry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, today is the, this marks the last episode of the year. We're going to take a break for a couple weeks and come back in the new year. I'll miss you all while we're gone. Do, you have any, do, you have any, do we have any retrospective thoughts about the 41 previous episodes of, of Binary Jazz? Snap, is that really the count? Yeah. yeah. I, here's my retrospective. If we're counting it, um, in binary... Right? Mm -hmm. The show's called Binary Jazz. Your name is Jazz Sequence, mm -hmm. but we're counting in a binary sequence. Mm -hmm. Jazzy binary sequence. Like Jazzy is just, it's just jazzy. zeros and ones. I mean, that's, how do you put any that's swing the into tension. That? That's the tension of the jazz sequence. <sighs> tension the, there is, is, the, no, tension is like, the word of the day. That's, that's right. Tension. <laughs> That's have, the like have, noodling have, portion of it. Yeah, we have jazz and we have binary, and the, and the binary is like static, and the jazz is fluid, and they they create a tension. It's the, it's intentional. Hence the saying, "Good enough for jazz." Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good enough for jazz. Also, binary then, is not good enough for jazz. <laughs> when the when the new year rolls around, will we start a new count wise? Right. No. No? Okay. I'm gonna keep that count going. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Not starting <laughs> at what not if, starting at zero 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 one. What if we what if we countered in like base nineteen or something? Nope. <laughs> We're not counting in hex either. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's not hexadecimal jazz. <laughs> not base sixty four jazz. As I change my name. <laughs> That's the spin-off <laughs> podcast. <laughs> That's how you know that this is the authentic uh, yeah. show, because it's it's actually binary. It's like we have a guest star, and they have their own spinoff. That yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, so this will be episode 101010101. I did I did an extra I did an extra thing. So this will be 101010 and so we will start the new year with episode uh 101011. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. But it'll be a new season on iTunes because I t I can make seasons. So it's just arbitrary at this point, though. <laughs> season two. Don't pull back the curtain. It's not arbitrary. It's my choice. <laughs> Coming to you. <laughs> See, but if you, like, if I were a TV show producer, I would do the same thing. I would have one season that's like, you know, 13 episodes and then three. You know, and then come back for season three with 13 episodes or something. Really just like, what was happening in season two? There's a lot to parse. If, if we, we could, we could, if we wanted to, do season 10 in the new year. <laughs> and, style Why and, the, we? and then season 11, and then season 100. <laughs> we wouldn't because that gets a little bit confusing, <laughs> I think. I think, yeah, I, I think we'll create more plates spinning in the air than we need to have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like <laughs> so the topic this week, jump right in, uh, is definition. Definition. With a Y. D A F F Y. Anition. <laughs> Obviously, this uh, comes from Daffy Duck. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Daffy. Yeah. Do you consider yourself like the Looney Tunes generation? As Is opposed to what? I don't know. Yes. I, just, I think we all are. I just don't know. I mean, I, Stephen Colbert made a joke uh, yesterday about... Um, about <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> 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 about about the argument between uh, Donald Trump and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, and he compared it to the argument about rabbit season or duck season between Daffy Duck and uh, Bugs Bunny, and he said that the, he hasn't seen negotiating uh, skills like that since since this, and it was the rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season, duck season, fire. It um yeah. I, I try to avoid, um, like, any uh, news coverage of, uh, of politicians in general, but especially Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say especially Donald Trump news. <laughs> What's that? How else do you get your Donald Trump news? I read the news. I don't want to see any video coverage. I just can't. I just can't even. That's, that's the only way that news about Donald Trump to me is digestible. After that, like after I see the sort of comic take on what he's doing, then I can read the actual article and be like not throwing punches at the wall. <laughs> um, I, I, for video coverage, I really like Matt now. I think she's doing an amazing job um, on the Mueller investigation. Wow, this is from the politics. Um, I, uh, Weren't we talking about Looney Tunes? Yeah, this came from Daffy. It's, it's, such, it's such an easy Topical. transition. I mean, it really is. It's, it's God, it is. Saturday morning. Saturday oh, morning. Also, Get up, hang out in a t-shirt on your pants and watch the news. For people just listening to the audio, we should acknowledge that we're not all playing maracas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one tiny individual who has her own little maraca that she's playing, if you hear it in the background. <laughs> now, and now Gary has a lip injury from being smacked on the face with a drumstick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's no blood, but it's, uh, it's one half of the claves. I don't know that giving her the other half is, is a good idea. Since yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that's the first half. That's not the answer here. <laughs> she, she was a trooper this morning. I, I kind of blew right through, like, second breakfast and nap time. Um, so, ordinarily she would be napping now, but I kind of blew up her schedule. So she's going to eat a maraca to make up for it. Enjoy. 
That's a fair trade. Some butter? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was just like, that's a pretty, pretty fair trade, I think, to me. Yep. So Daffy Nation. Daffy Nation. <laughs> Daffy Nation right now. <laughs> Daffy, it's Daffy Nation. Oh. Well, so it's, it's when okay. Daffy defines, it's, it's like mansplaining from Daffy <laughs> Duck is what it is. <laughs> wow, well, actually. You know what it probably is? It probably is um, like what this show is. Like, like we don't know with, what the definition is of something, so we bullshit it. So, um, yeah, so like BSing a definition for something is definition. Which I did in middle school. Um, I had to do some, uh, there was a class I was in and we had to do like, I don't know, five words a week or something, where you had to look up the word in the dictionary and then write the definition. Which seemed like an awful lot of work to me. So I started making up definitions. Um, one of the famous ones in my family is, um, I don't remember what the word was, but the definition was an amazing mass of moss. <laughs> uh, it was a noun, obviously. Or no. Wait, how did I? I don't know. It didn't matter. An amazing mass of moss is what it was. An amazing mass of moss. Yep. Incidentally, it was not the definition for the word. Um, and incidentally, the teacher was actually reading the definitions we wrote down, at least sometimes, because I got a lot three before that one got caught. Let me say that much. <laughs> so I wonder if mine was just like the top page that time, and she's like, wait, what? <laughs> and then everyone had their papers graded because I thought making up definitions was easier than looking them up. Yeah. But it was easy. Man, I would have, I would have totally given, was easier. I, I would have given you like negative points for the assignment, but then like extra credit to offset the negative points for creativity because that's freaking brilliant. <laughs> I um, I definitely landed um, extra credit points um, throughout my uh, education for career for going above and beyond on certain things. Um, I was in handbells in college, and uh, handbells. Oh yes, handbells. Yes. Like with the gloves and everything. Oh yes, yes. Yes, we had, um, we had two points that we were graded for. Um, both were um, playing at chapel. So midterm was playing at chapel and finals playing at chapel. And I um, missed the midterm. So I couldn't pass the class, right? I just didn't show up or I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't go. So I stole the professor's car near the end of the semester um, and went in car like- Car or card? No, car. I, I went to her husband, who was also a professor on campus, and got a key and stole her car and cleaned it inside out and returned it to the exact same parking space. Um, got her flowers and donuts um, and passed the class <laughs> after showing up <laughs> the line. So I wrote a card. I mean, I, I, I definitely earned the C minus that I got. <laughs> Well, everyone else got an A, but yeah. That turned out differently than I thought that story would. <laughs> Still in their car? Yeah, yeah. Ferris, Ferris Bueller, once again. <laughs> it was Usually like that story was a man- involved like buying donuts and like. <laughs> yeah, it was a manual transmission and I hadn't driven one in a while. So I got in and I'm like, oh shit, this could go really badly. Right now. <laughs> and I was living in a frat house at the time. So I went over to the frat house and I was cleaning it like in the front yard of the frat house and security came over because you were not allowed to clean your car there. And I'm like, oh, it's not my car. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> and that makes it, this makes it totally fine. So like if there was any like, like lack of clarity on why I'm a college dropout, this, this should be a good indicator as to why college wasn't for me. But you started off so strong with like the handbells. It sounded, sounded so <laughs> clean cut. <laughs> To be, yeah. to be fair, yeah. to be fair, I, I, I have, I mean, I have also stolen a car. I'm so I'm the only one here that has not stolen a, a vehicle. Is that what I'm hearing? Did, did you return it though, Chris? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, See, it's not. It was a, a borrowing. Borrowing without asking. I think that's. Yeah. De- I think the definition of that is stealing. <laughs> Um, not under this administration. My 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 friend. Not under uh, this definition. My friend had a really old 1970s. I don't know what it was, but the thing about it was. What's um, the El Camino? The sure it, it wasn't an El Camino. It's definitely not an El Camino. It's far. I just more wanted to say El Camino. But <laughs> um, 
anyway, the, the, the doors didn't lock properly. Uh, and um, you could literally put just about anything in the ignition and turn it and then take it out and the car would start. So um, I had to make an emergency run to, uh, I, I was the resident advisor at the time. So that's even better that I, I was stealing a friend's car while I was the RA. Um, I was the resident advisor uh, at the time and a friend and one of my um, the students on the floor uh, was needed to go to like an emergency therapy session, um, like a, sort of a crisis type thing. And so like, okay, I, 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 I will take you. I didn't have a car at the time because my car had died and I'd sold it. And my friend, who's my former roommate, was asleep and probably going to sleep until at least two. And she needs to be there in like 10 minutes. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna use his car and take it back. It'll be fine. And so yeah, I, we got in, I turned the key. I, I, had, I had a skeleton key that was literally just a, a slim piece of metal with no notches on it whatsoever. And I figured this will probably work. And I stuck it in, turned the ignition, pulled it out, started the car, <laughs> put it back in to turn the engine off. It was great. Returned the car when I, was, when I got back. So you're both sort of like he, he didn't even realize that I like I went to, I said by the way um, I borrowed your car <laughs> it's there now <laughs> but both of you are kind of like the Robin Hoods of car thievery like it's true <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> stealing cars to give them a wash and stealing cars take people to therapy yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well I mean did you expect us to be like I don't know the Donald Trump of car thievery no. <laughs> like stealing it selling it for a profit and then bringing it back like bringing something back that's something like like 10 times cheaper like a, a, a Yugo or something I like yeah. this versioning a lot better. It's like, there's like, and then there were donuts in my car when I got back and it was clean. And I, 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 I got the counseling that I needed. And it almost makes me wish I had a car and I lived near one of you. <laughs> I haven't stolen a car in 15 years. Yeah, I haven't stolen a car in a long time. <laughs> 15 years? What year is it? 2018? I, yeah, I probably, say, probably, probably I, 17 years. I will I say that that was the second time I was stolen a car. <laughs> the first time was when I was 15 and had a permit and was like, let's go to the music store while well, my parents were at a 49ers game. Well, that's, the statute of limitations has long yeah, passed. Yeah. So. Um, the fun thing about that was I dropped all my friends off and I was returning back. <laughs> And I pulled into the driveway just as I saw their car coming up the street. That's a time. So my other quick. My second instance of car theft. I um. So you have I'm multiple younger. car thieveries too. Yeah. Definition right here. Yeah. So um, it was. I had just gotten my like restricted license. So I was like 15, and I could drive my parents in the car, and I'd probably driven eight miles at this point, maybe. <laughs> and um. My sister rode the school bus and it was raining out in Florida in the afternoon, that's what it does, um, like hard. And I'm looking at the clock like, oh, she's gonna have to walk home in the rain. My parents won't mind if I borrow the car and go pick her up, right? So I did and they minded. <laughs> um, I, they weren't home, but you know, they you knew it was raining and she didn't have to walk in the rain. So <laughs> logically, <laughs> Something the car, had a adult in the car, which was not allowed and didn't have permission to take the car. I'm pretty sure at that point they just didn't leave car keys around the house. Like that's what I would do, right? That's true. So were, were, were they concerned because kind of, like, of like inclement weather and they were like, this is more dangerous or it was just like, this is against the rules. Like, I don't, I think it, I think it was a lot of things. I think it was like, you, you're not allowed to drive without an adult yeah. like you can't drive yet I mean they weren't wrong like I didn't know what that what I was doing no. so that was that was a fair concern I mean I kept it shiny side up I think I did a fine job I didn't think <laughs> anything um I did it a mailbox avoiding a cat one time driving I, my I girlfriend home uh it not. turned out it was one of my teachers or a former teacher's mailbox I found out after the fact so I mean and I launched it I mean it was like I hit it <laughs> and um it was like the corner of the van. The corner of the van was like inverted. That mailbox. I mean, it was like kicking like a football. It just. <laughs> um, yeah. Why? Well, sorry. It was a long time ago. 
<laughs> it's okay. He's not a criminal anymore. Please. It's been at least 15 oh, years. <laughs> you need that fish? <laughs> yeah, it's been sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably been, well, let's see. College. Yeah, it was less than, less than 20 years, I guess. I was going to say it's about 20 years, but it's probably been less than 20 years. Maybe Daffy Nishin is coming 20. clean about long, long ago crimes. <laughs> and then one time I shoplifted. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a confession booth. <laughs> We're working around a time. If that's <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of Chunk from Goonies, where he's just like, this one time, <laughs> I was at the theater. I'm just telling you all my, all my mishaps. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this episode today. It has changed my demeanor. Thank you. <laughs> Any Goonies reference can have that effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe watch, let me watch Goonies instead of uh, taking a nap. Huh? It is a classic. Well, I think it's a classic. So definition <laughs> or definition uh, is uh, a um, when you combine two words into one word. What's that called? It's a word. There's a word for that, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to tell you <laughs> yes nah, it's it's a it's a poodle <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> so definition is a poodle uh of the word daft and definition so similar to to daffy's daffy defining things it's it's a crazy definition of something um, it is, um, the quality of a duck's, um, physique <laughs> definition. The quality of a duck's definition? Uh, no, a duck's physique. Like if a duck is really muscular. Oh, duck's physique. Okay. Yeah. Especially like, 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 oh, what a noble profile. It's like. Oh, nice. No, definition. like ripped. But that duck's got a six pack. Great duck. <laughs> Excellent definition. <laughs> He's very defined. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> very complimentary like towards ducks. I, how can you not be? <laughs> we had um, like 30 some odd Canadian geese walk through the backyard a couple days ago. Well, so that's where they all went. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to tell them like, yeah, guys, you're, you're really far south, you know? But, um, they, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, they, uh, they could fly, so that seemed like a silly place for them to be. I saw I someone. Fun I show. saw someone slip from stepping in Canadian goose poop the other morning. Ooh, nice. And they were fine, so I felt comfortable having a bit of a chuckle from afar. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> Did they actually slip and like hit the ground or they just like would zip? No, it just was like a little like moment of like whoop, like yeah. a, a little burst of adrenaline probably for them. But from afar, it was I, just. And do you think they chuckled internally when they started to slide and went, oh crap, oh crap, <laughs> oh crap. Like, because I, I would. I, I feel like everyone, yeah, yes, I would. Especially because they didn't actually fall. It was just one of those weird little slip moments. And also they were by themselves. So I feel like when you have those moments by yourself, it's that weird acknowledgement where you're like, I'm sure someone perhaps witnessed this from afar because I'm technically in public. So I just have to pretend that. I think in this day and age, aren't we always technically in public? Well, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I never go outside. I mean, I'm inside and I feel like I'm technically in public because, well, there's a camera on my computer. I was gonna say, I was like, well, you are being witnessed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't necessarily mean like this particular second. I just mean in general, like, you know. And apparently I have nothing to hide. I'm proud of my car thievery, so I don't know. I... <laughs> you're, well, you're both laying all, all, all your past, all your past events out on the table. 
Does anybody else have anything else they'd like to confess today? <laughs> um, no. Shoplifting, car thievery, pickpocketing? No, nope, haven't done pickpocketing. I'm not good enough. I'm not nearly deceptive enough. Are either of I've you Avengers watching. of any sort? Avengers. <laughs> Secretly, uh, no, uh, no. I, so we've been watching this show uh, called Brain Games. Uh, it's on Netflix, and um, there's a there's an illusion. Not, well, they call him a deception specialist. He's not. I mean, he's sort of an illusionist, but really, it's it's all sleight of hand, and that's the whole point. Um, because the, the show is about like like the ways your brain overcompensates and like misses things and stuff, and like tr things to trick your brain and stuff. And so, illusion is all about that sort. Of sort of stuff um and and, and like obviously that's the highlight of every show is is this dude that that and his his crazy tricks and he's a fairly significant part of the show um and yeah i could never i could never do that most of those things like i i, I even see like they, they break it, they break it down every once in a while like what he's actually doing and how he's doing it but he he moves so quickly and his fingers are so nimble there's no way i could do any of that stuff I feel like I'm always entranced by it. And then I immediately I'm like, I think that, oh, and what an amazing exercise for your hands for like carpal tunnel and like all the muscle memory. But then I immediately like try to cut a deck of cards in half with one hand and <laughs> the cards go everywhere. And I immediately I'm like, this is a bad idea. This is poor decision making. Uh, <laughs> Ta-da! I'm, like, um, I'm a magician. <laughs> all the cards are on the so floor what, now. Who gets to clean them up? Daffy the the easiest yeah. trick before we, we get to the definition of definition, uh the easiest trick uh that that was shown was um you get a crumpled up piece of so you ask you ask somebody for uh if they have any cash and they give you cash whatever it is and you roll up into a ball and you put the ball of cash on the table and then uh you say okay hold your hand right here uh above the cash and then you put your hand above their hand right uh, so they're right here and you're right here and the cash is on the table and they say okay now when I say go I want you to grab that ball of cash and then it's yours um, and so the trick is you say go and then you, you go around and grab it and because you're the one saying go and it takes a minute for you to recognize that um, that things have like that it's time to, to move by the time your brain actually makes that has that response oh i should do something you're already down here and about to pick up the the cash and so it works every time and he brought he brought out a little girl and had her like get like 20 bucks 100 bucks from other people <laughs> that's amazing yeah yeah so that that's a trick you can you can it's a parlor trick you can invite your friends over and say hey you have any cash let's let's do this magic trick <laughs> just give it to me <laughs> and just make and then make bank. <laughs> Again, just with the robbing of people. <laughs> Fascinating. I know. <laughs> Come over to my house and give me your give me your money. Yep. Please. Yep. Well, so, uh, definition. The definition of definition is what? It is first of all the word you were looking for was portmanteau. Yes, that's right. That's right, and it's it obviously you would know that because it's sort of a Frenchy word. Yeah, it's a Frenchy word. It's also just a fun word. It is a fun <laughs> word. Not that poodle is not fun. Poodle. I was close though. But you were close. I was yeah, very were close. It starts with a P. Um, and and a French. Foul. And it's French. Poodle. Well, French. Yeah. Um, it's a blend of Daffy and definition, and because I love a good pun, um, it's basically the reinterpretation reinterpretation of an existing word. So, like, on the basis that it sounds like a different group of words. So, so like, you're actually right. You actually yeah. got the definition. Yeah. It is this show. It is. It is this show, and that makes a, a, a fitting show. conclusion to the season. So like, I'm trying to think, there's a bunch Tune in of next year. <laughs> Tune in next year, I know, where we su continue to succeed. So it's like, uh, Where others have failed before us and fallen by the wayside. Well, it's like all the, all the, the jokes and puns of, of yesteryear. <laughs> like, like, okay, so like the definition, what a bullfighter tries to do, it's avoidable. <laughs> uh, avoidable. <laughs> Or like avoidable yeah. yeah things like that uh, <laughs> i thought they were very funny 
<laughs> or how geese fly, information. Mm. And then there's like phrases, words, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. And that brings us to our next segment. So good, so good. What's our next segment? Our next segment is antidepressant or Tolkien character. Whoa, all right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and excuse me on pronunciation because I feel like that just makes the game more fun, to be honest. <laughs> oh, totally. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, so the first one is Azafen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> antidepressant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, antidepressant. Correct, antidepressant. Oh, wait, I, think I should be, I should have a doc open so I can keep our score. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately keeping score, amazing. <laughs> It could just be a fun, lighthearted game of antidepressants. No, it could never be. <laughs> what if we all win, Chris? We, <laughs> We're we all winners all, here. We obviously all win, always, but we should still keep score. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins more than all the rest of us? Yes, exactly. Okay. Competitive as shit. Yeah, okay. makes sense. Okay. So why did you lean towards antidepressant? Just, just a vibe? The, the, the fan. The fan. The fan, because at, because if it was a Tolkien character, it would be Finn or or F Y N or something. Yeah. I'm curious to see how we proceed down this list. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know I'm going to be wrong at some point, but that was the <laughs> I got. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Burgle. <laughs> Tolkien character. Yeah, Tolkien character. Correct. Woo! Woo! Uh, Celebrian. Celebrian. Uh, Tolkien. Yeah? Is that Tolkien for both of you? No, no, I said antidepressant, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, waiting, like, waiting? It's a Tolkien character. You are. Oh, <laughs> crushing. Uh, Sir Dan. Sir Dan? Mm -hmm. That's an antidepressant. Uh, antidepressant. Tolkien character. Damn it. Also, who knows if I'm, I'm pro that. pronouncing any of these names correct. Uh, Cledial. Cledial. Ah, uh, that's a Tolkien character. Yeah. Antidepressant. Chris is confident. I believe him. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you're saying is if I, if I sound like I'm not sure, then you're going to pick the other thing. <laughs> no, that's not the case at all. I usually see the top on that one. I'm like, well, he can't be wrong. <laughs> he knows who that character is. I thought it did. Elronin. Elronin. Uh, I'll say Tolkien. Antidepressant. <laughs> Antidepressant. Oh, Gary's tying it up. <laughs> Getting close. Uh, uh, arrestor. Uh, antidepressant. Wait, what was it? Arrestor. E R E S T O R. Uh, Tolkien. Tolkien character. Damn it. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> this is also the potential segment where one of you would come out as like a huge Lord of the Rings fan and totally and just nail this segment <laughs> with all these Fair. weird secondary. I mean, the thing is that, that even if you were a huge, I mean, unless you were like totally like back to front literate in not only all of the books, but like all of the extra like lore and stuff about Tolkien himself and like the novellas and all that stuff. Yeah. Would, you, unless you were that person, you would still get half of these wrong because yeah. there's so many characters in, in that series. Well, and I'm not bringing like, I'm like, not like Legolas, like I'm not like, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I'm like antidepressant. No. Um, anyway. Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Escaleth. Escaleth. Um, okay, so I'm at the point where I'm doubting myself and I'm thinking, okay, that's obviously a Tolkien character, so I'm going to say antidepressant. <laughs> Gary's gone from screen, so I have no idea. Antidepressant. Antidepressant? Antidepressant, correct. 
Finn or Finn? Uh, that's an antidepressant. Um, yes, it is an antidepressant. Tolkien character. No. Wow. There's no I in Timo Sill. <laughs> Halder. Uh, Tolkien. Say it again. Halder. H A L D I R. Yeah. Yeah. Tolkien. Nardle. N A R D I L. So I'm hoping it's a Tolkien character. N A R D I L. Mm -hmm. uh, antidepressant. Antidepressants. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Narmacil. Uh -oh. Narmacil. Uh, antidepressant. Tolkien character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Narvi. N A R V I. V I or B I? V is in Victor. Not that it matters. Uh... <laughs> I was like. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.